tuwezi tukaza kumshukuru Mungu kwa mema mengi yake asiyo na idadi sasa tunamwomba baba askofu aweze kutuongoza kwa sala ya mwisho tusimame bwana asema Baba mwema uwatakase kwa lile kweli kama vile ulivyotuma mimi ulimwenguni na mivivyo hivyo naliwatuma hao ulimwenguni na tuombe E Bwana sadaka takatifu tuliokutolea na kuila iwauhishi mapadi wako na waamini wako wote walio shiriki baada hii kwa karibu na wabali nao wakishaunganika nawe kwa upendo wa milele waweze kukutumikia vema wewe mtukufu tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu amen tunaomba tuweze kuket tupo Karibu kumalizia ibada yetu ya misa. Kwa sasa hivi tunapenda kualika watu uh, wachache wanene maneno tu machache um, kwa ajili ya kuokoa muda na napenda nianze kwa kumwalika mkuu wa 
um, kamati ya uongozi wa wa hapa parokia hii ya St Austin's Mr Peter Warutere aweze kutusalimia na baadaye nitawaambia mwingine anayefuata karibu bwana Peter Asante sana uh, Father Patrick Mwania kwa kunialika uh, Baba Askofu Martin Kivuva ambaye ni Bishop wa at Diocese ya Mombasa Mkuu wa Spirit and Fathers Father Gaduru uh, na Baba parokia wa hii yetu St Austin's Parish Father George Omondi na wewe MC Father Patrick Mwania ambaye ni uh, baba parokia wa St John's Evangelist. Uh, washirika wote wa Holy Ghost Fathers na wakristu wote Mungu ni mwema kila wakati, kila wakati. Mungu ni mwema. na tunashukuru Mungu sababu ametuwezesha kuwa na sherehe hii na tunajua kama wiki mbili iliyopita hatugefanya sherehe hii sababu tulikuwa tumefungiwa kulikuwa na lockdown sababu ya corona. Kwa hivyo tuamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba anaendelea kutulinda na kutuonyesha njia ndio tutoke kwa hii jangwa la corona ambalo limetuhangaisha na kama baba askofu alivyosema tunajua family nyingi ambazo watu wamepoteza kazi wengine wamekuwa wagonjwa hata wengine wamekufa sababu ya corona so we want to praise the lord and to thank god for how far he's brought us the last one year tunajua corona imekuwa hapa kutoka march last year so now it is going to it imepita mwaka wa kwanza sasa tunaenda mwaka wa pili but we hope that all of us if we observe the protocols that we were told by the government and you all get vaccinated that this coronavirus will come to an end. Na ndio mnaona kama kanisa letu St Austin's we are very particular about social distancing na watu kuvaa mask na kuvaa vizuri ndio kusema you have to cover your mouth and your nose all the time tukiwa kanisa and so today you can see there are a lot of people outside. So uh, Baba Askofu would have wanted to, be, to have a lot of people lakini there are those restrictions which have been imposed on us by the government so that to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Two years ago, we had a, a huge ordination again of the Holy Ghost Fathers and I think we are more than a thousand people. We set up tents outside. There were a lot of people in this compound. Na tulishukuru sana. Even this time we were hoping that we have a ceremony like that. Lakini uh, we were not able to do that. So all of you who have come, poleni sana, wale wameka inje sababu this is the best that we could do lakini we assure you that next year or any other uh, year we are called upon to host uh, an ordination we shall be ready to host you and you can come you know from Machakos, from Kisi Onyamira uh, from uh, Roy Tok Tok Muje na Bazi zote we shall accommodate you and we shall be here with you and celebrate with you so mine on behalf of the parish pastoral council on behalf of a uh, uh, parish priest and on behalf of the parishioners of the St. Austin's is again, I know you have been welcomed here, but again I want to welcome you here and to assure you that we really are excited to host you here. To Meshukuru Mungu Sana because you have been looking forward to this event and uh, even if it was very difficult to plan it, we are most grateful to the Lord that he has given us that opportunity to serve you because when you are called to serve, the Lord always reminds us it is, it is uh, more blessed to serve than to, than to be served. So we want to serve and we want to encourage you to continue interacting and to pray for the four priests who have been ordained today. Uh, <laughs> let me say, mine, from the bottom of my heart, I want to congratulate uh, Father Leonard Mulei Mutua, Father Timothy Tutumutie, Father Lawrence Momani Maraga and uh, Father Wycliffe Oluch Olude and let us congratulate them once again to Apigia Makofi.
And we are very proud that we have been ordained at St. Austin. I'll tell you, uh, Father Momani, we have been together here for a very long time. He was a deacon, but when I saw him the first time, I called him Father Momani. I used to go, <laughs> I thought he was, I thought he, I thought he was already Father Momani. But I got to know that he was a deacon and preparing to be a father, so I'm very happy, Father Momani, that you are here. He has been with us for a very long time, so the parishion of St. Stonsons, we hope that you'll come here and deliver Mass for us now as Father Momai. Karibu sana. So, in the interest of time, uh, Sita Ongea Mengi, Mimi, Nikuwa Karibisha Tenas in Tostins, that we are here. You are most welcome, and we have prepared everything for you. We even have a lunch for you. Uh, so, feel free to interact with us and get to know our parish better. And please come again. Not just when you have an ordination, but uh, any time that you are passing by or you are, you, are, you are in Nairobi, please come for Mass. We have four Masses. On, we have five Masses on Sunday, actually. Um, four in the morning and one in the afternoon. So you are most welcome uh, on Sundays. And even during the week, we have a Mass in the morning at 7 and uh, 5.30 in the evening. Karibuni sana. Namugu wa bariki sana. Sana, sana, sana. Na wale wametoka Bali, we wish you a safe journey. Journey Masses to see you to cover na any accidents or incidents on the road murudi nyubadi na musalimiane na muambie uh, your, your families when you get back home that we love you from St. Austin's Parish na tumashukuru sana and I want to tell you who I am my name is Peter Arutere I'm the moderator of the Parish Pastoral Council of St. Austin's Parish I'm also proud that we have four new priests because I am also the moderator of the Catholic Men Association here, and my vice moderator is there, Paul Ouma. Uh, we are the ones who run CMA in this parish, and we are very proud that we have four new men who can become members of the CMA. Karibu Nisana, the new fathers, you are all members of our CMA. Karibu Nisana, and God bless you. God is good, and all the time, Asante Sana Akbishop. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Peter Arutere, moderator St. Austin's and St. Austin's fraternity for always having your doors open for us, Holy Ghost Fathers. Whenever we come here, we have always a home as St. Denis Sana. Sisi wanashiriko wa Rome Takatifu, tuko wale ambao wameweka nadhiri, na pia kuna wale wetu ambao ni wale. Na kuna moja wao ambao anawakilisha wale wa lay, uh, the chairperson of the lay associates of the spiritans, napenda ni muombe, ajongea hapa mbele, Mr. Raphael Kitavi, aseme tu neno moja, ili tuweze ku, uh, kuendelea, neno moja ya kuwa pongeza mapadri wetu wapia. Thank you so much, MC Father Mwania. I'm sorry to take longer reaching here. Uh, Your Grace Most Reverend Martin Kivuva Musonde, the Archbishop of Mombasa Diocese, Father Dominic Gadiruthu, CSP, Spirit and Provincial Superior of Kenya and Seoul, Sudan, Father George Omondi, CSSP, Parish Priest in Austin's Parish, and your team. Our newly ordained priests, our spirit and family members, that is the priests, the scholastics, and the lay spirit and associates, all other priests and religious present, parents and guardians of the newly ordained priests, our visitors from far and near, Fellow Christians, one heart, one soul. Today is an, yet another joyful day for us as a congregation to witness a priestly ordination of four sons, 
and brothers of ours. Therefore, I stand on behalf of the chaplain and the entire Lee Spirit and Associate Fraternity. Our chaplain is Father Isaac, who is on holiday in Ghana. And the Fraternity of the Province of Kenya to say a big congratulations to our brothers who have allowed themselves to go to raise them to the Presbyterian order. We, the Lay Spirit and Associates, glorify the Lord with you for what he has done for you. And we promise that you of our ending support in every facet. May what God has begun in you be brought to fruit fruition. Also a word of appreciation, Archbishop Martin Kivuva, for ordaining our brothers for us. Not forgetting our provincial superior and your counsel for accepting them to be ordained to serve the church as priests. To all who have contributed in their upbringing and formation, we the lay spirits and say that may your work never go unrewarded. To you, our fresh priests, the lay spirits as associates encourage you to do your best in service wherever you will be posted to work as spirit and priests. We assure you of our utmost support. Napenda kusema mapadi wetu wapia. Sisi wana lay spiritans tuko nyuma yenu kuwasaidia kwa vyo vyote. Na the entire congregation the Holy Ghost Fathers the spiritans tuko pamoja na tuko kabisa tuko very ready to our support kwa joshote kile. Wana lay spiritans wamekuja kudhuria shereo ya leo but due to COVID-19 regulations, that took a little wengi. Najua wakom baadhi wetu sisi na ngependa kusema kwamba lay spiritans Kenya ilianzishwa 2020 mwezi wa pili. Na the first commissioning ilifanywa kule St John the Evangelist Karen. And in total, Kenya took 167 from six parishes, St. John's Evangelist, Karen, St. Mary's, Mukuru Kwa Jenga, Kamirithu Parish, Limuru, Kilimambogo Parish, Na Sutanamud Parish, Makueni, Na Kaveka, St. Martin de Porres Parish, Machakos. Mimi Ndiyo Munyakiti, I'm the moderator of the Lisbeth's Kenya. My name is Rafael Mutisia Kitavi. I'm from Kaveka Parish, St. Martin de Porres. Na Baba Skofumku, Asante Sana, Nakumbuka, Ulitudumia Vizuri Sana, Wakati Ulikuwa Bishop Wa Machakos Diocese. Na Tashukuru Pia Leo Tunakutana Weo Kwa Kazi Ya Mungu, Bato Tukiendelea Kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa Wote Nasema Shukrani Asanteni Sana, uh, mapadi wetu wapia tuko nyuma yenu kwa hii kazi ya kitume. Mungu wa bariki, Mungu wa bariki, Mungu wa bariki asanteni sana. Makofi kwao. Thank you so much and God bless you. Sande sana Mr. Rafal kwa hayo maneno ya na chache ya kutia moyo mapadi wetu wapia na kuwapongeza kwa niaba ya wana spirit and wale sasa tunapenda kusikia sauti ya mmoja wa mapadri wetu wapya atujui tangu wafikie hii hi ngazi wanajisikia namna gani basi muomba naye wawakilisha aje hapa aseme maneno machache tu kwa niaba ya wengine huyo ni padri Wycliffe Olude Padre Mpia, karibu sana. Utu salimia. Tumsifi Yesu Kristo. Yeah. Padre Patrick anauliza tunajisikia aje. Pale tunapokaa, tunajisikia vizuri sana. 
na tunasema hasante kwa Mungu kwa kuwa ametuita kutuweze kumtumikia kama wakuhani katika kanisa takatifu la Kikatoliki. Leo sisi mapadri wanne tumefurahi tume zaidi kwa sababu tumeona kazi ya Mungu ikitimizwa ndani yetu. Ni katika kuidhirisha furaha hii kwamba tungependa kusema neno la asante. Kwanza kabisa tunainua macho yetu kwa Mungu Mwenyezi katika shukrani. Alituita kutoka kwa familia zetu kuja kumhudumia kama makuhani. Na jia bora ya kum, kumdhamini kudhamini kumdhamini kama umtoaji wa wito, wito wetu ni kusema mimi hapa. Mungu wetu amekuwa akitubariki katika hatua zote za, mile, za malezi na imani ambayo kwa hakika tuna, tunaweza kufanya. Alitupa nguvu na kwa kweli rasilimali ili kufanikisha hilo. Kwako askofu mkuu Martin. Tunakosa maneno ya kutumia kukushukuru ila tunakushukuru kwa kuwa uliweza kutenga muda huu ili uweze kuja kutupa sakramenti ya upadrisho. Asante sana baba askofu na Mwenyezi Mungu akupe nguvu ya mwili na akili ya, kuwe, ya, ku, ya kuwezesha kuhudumia watu wa Mungu wa jimbo kuu la Mombasa. Tumpigie tum, tum, makofi baba askofu. Kwa familia ya e, shirika la roho mtakatifu tunawashukuru ndugu zetu wa shirika letu la roho mtakatifu kwa kutukubali kuwa wenzenu Mungu siku zote awape nguvu za mwili na akili wakati mnamtumikia uh, mnamtumikia katika kazi zenu mbalimbali kwa mkuu wetu wa shirika Padre Dominic na baraza lako tunamuomba Mungu apate uh, Mungu apate kukumiminia neema zake kila wakati unapotoa huduma kwa province yetu ya Kenya. Tuwashangilie hawa. Kwa wazazi wetu wapendwa na wanafamilia kweli ninyi mlikuwa walezi wetu wa kwanza katika safari yetu ya kuwa mapadre tunawashukuru kwa kutu, kuturuhusu kujibu mwito wa Mungu na kutusaidia kufika mahali tulipo sasa asanteni wa wanafamilia zetu tuwashukuru kwa mapadre wetu wote wa parokia zetu ni nyinyi nyote na, na nyinyi nyote mapadri mliopo hapa na watawa wote wa kiume na wa kike tunawashukuru kwa kutenga wakati wenu wa kuja kushuhudia hafla hii mbarikiwe katika mbarikiwe sana katika kazi zenu mbalimbali mbali. kwenu wapendwa wetu wanakwaya wameimba vizuri sana si ndio Kwa hakika nyimbo hizi zenye kupendeza ambazo zili, ziliimbwa vizuri zilitufanya tuombe mara mbili. Asante ni sana, asante sana kwa huduma hii nzuri ambayo ni dhihirisho la kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Tuwashangilie wanakwaya. Kwa timu ya kiufundi ambayo ilihakikisha kuwa live transmission ya hii sherehe ilifanyika. Jisikie kudhaminiwa kwa huduma hii nzuri uliyotutolea leo Mungu akubariki. Tuwashangilie. <laughs> Mwisho ningependa kutoa shukrani zetu za dhati kwa kila mtu hapa. Atuwezi kukuita atuwezi, atuwezi kuita majina lakini tunadhamini sana uwepo wako hapa leo. Hatuchukui uwepo wako hapa kikawaida ubarikiwe sana na kwa mapadri wenzangu wanne naomba msimame kidogo 
kwetu sisi wanne kuna hadithi fupi ya mtu ambaye alikuwa akipanda mlima siku moja akiwa njiani alikuwa amechoka sana akajisemea kuwa akajisemea kuwa mara tu akiwa kwenye kilele cha mlima atasikia furaha na kufurahia maisha huko kwa mshangao wake alipata kuwa kuna milima mingi inayomsibiri apande ndugu zangu mwisho wa safari ni mwanzo wa safari nyingine leo tunaanza safari mpya sio kama wanafunzi katika malezi ya awali lakini kama makuhani katika malezi yanayoendelea malezi ambayo yana majukumu makubwa mbele ni kwa, ni kwa maana hii nadhani kuwa kupokea mamlaka ya ukuhani kwa kuwekewa mikono ni mwanzo muhimu lakini haitoshi uwekaji uwekaji hupeana mamlaka lakini haki inahitajika kutenda kwa nguvu tunapojitahidi tunapo kuinua roho kufundisha na kushuhudia kubariki na kushauri na kuendeleza kazi ya wokovu Mungu mwenyezi na ambiminie neema zake juu yetu tunapomtumikia kama makuhani mtu shangilie tafadhali basi na Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki. Asanteni. Sande sana Padre Wycliffe kwa sababu naweza kuketi na Padre wapya amezungumza kwa ajili ya wao. Wengine wataweza kuzungumza nasi kule nje kuanzia leo na siku zote watakapokuwa na toa shukrani eh, kwa Mungu katika misa zao na hata sisi tutakapokuwa tunawapa zawadi kwa ongera ya kazi nzuri ambayo wamefanya sasa napenda ni mwalike fala dominic ambaye ni mkuu wetu wa shirika aweze kusema machache kuzungumza nasi na pia eh, kuwapongeza na padri wetu wapya namshukuru Mungu sana sana kwa kutujalia siku hii ya leo siku ya furaha tunapoadhimisha na tumefanikishwa katika hii sherehe ya kuwapa daraja askofu kuwapa daraja ya upadri eh, hawa Leonard Wycliffe Lawrence na Timothy namshukuru Mungu sana sana namshukuru baba askofu mkuu Martin Kevuva kwa kufanya kazi hii na kukubali kufanya kazi hii. Tunakushukuru sana Mungu azidi kuwa naye na kukubariki kwa kuitikia huu wito wa ku, wa padaraja upadri hawa wanashirika wetu wanne. Asante sana. Tumpigie makofi. Lakini pia furaha kubwa kwetu zata zaidi ni kwamba hawa wanne ambao walikuwa ni mashemasi sasa ni mapadri ni mapadri hiyo ndio hasa inayotufurahisha sana 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 kwa hivyo nitaomba kama ilivyo desturi yetu tupige vilevile na pia kuwapigia makofi na kumshukuru Mungu kwa sherehe hii kubwa tuwapigie makofi na vilevile hongereni sana hongereni sana mapadri wapya tunawakaribisha katika eh, kundi letu ama ushirika wa mapadri katika kanisa lakini pia katika shirika letu la Roho Mtakatifu Shirika letu la Roho Mtakatifu limekuweko muda mrefu tu kama miaka 318 tangu lipoanzishwa huko Ufaransa mwaka wa 1703 kwa hivyo tuko around kama miaka 300 na 300 na 18 na hapa Kenya kama askofu alivyotaja huko Mombasa around 1889 na hapa St Austin 1899 kwa hivyo tunaongea kuhusu zaidi ya miaka 130 hapa nchini Kenya ndio sisi tulikuwa wa missionary wa kwanza wakitoka Ufaransa kuhudumia kanisa katika nchi hii ya Kenya 
Sisi kama wa misionari wanashirika Roho Mtakatifu ni wa misionari na huwa tunatumwa kueneza injili duniani kote. Ndio maana ukitazama dunia yote utakuta tuko hapa Afrika, tuko huko Ulaya, tuko Marekani, tuko huko Asia, tuko Australia, tuko kila mahali. We are missionaries. Tunatumwa kueneza habari njema ya Yesu Kristo duniani kote. Na unaweza ukatumwa kuanzia hiyo kazi ukatumwa huko nje katika nchi ya kimisionari kama vile mimi nilitumwa huko Zambia ndio nilianzia huko wengine wakaanzia Malawi wengine wakaanzia Ghana kama paroko wa hapa alianzia nchi ya Ghana na wengine wengi duniani kote tumefanya kazi na tunafanya kazi ya kitume na pia katika majimbo yote diocese sio kwamba unafanya kule ulikozaliwa diocese yako unatumwa diocese yote ambako kanisa na shirika tunaona kwamba kunahitaji watu wa kulitumikia kanisa na shirika letu na lengo letu ni kwamba wote wapate kumwamini Mungu na kumjua Kristo na kuwa wafuasi wake Hawa mapadri wanne ambao tunafurahia kwamba wamepata hiyo daraja ya upadri wamefika hapa katika hatua hii leo kwa sababu ya kwanza msaada wa Mungu Mungu amewajalia wakaona siku hii na wakafanikiwa katika malezi yao Mungu ndiye aliyewaita Lakini pia tunawashukuru wazazi wao kwa kuwatoa na kukubali waliposema kwamba wangependa kuwa na shirika na pia kuwa mapadri wakawa support kama tulivyoona hapa wanawaleta hapa waweze kupata daraja hiyo ya upadri na wanashirika wenzao wengi wa hapa wanashirika wa roho mtakatifu wakawa support sana na mapadri wengine wote wanashirika na wengine hawa maparoko na wengine wa majimbo mbalimbali walikotoka na marafiki zao wamewa support sana na pia wenzao watawa wa kiume na kike na wakristo wote kwa jumla wameshiriki katika kuwalea hawa sisi wenyewe bila msaada wenu hatungeweza kazi hii hawa lay associates wametusaidia sana na marafiki wengi ambao wanashiriki katika kutusaidia kwenye msaada wa sala lakini msaada wa mali mali ya kuwasomesha hawa vijana mpaka wafikie hapo tunahitaji msaada wenu na tunawashukuru sana kwa huo msaada mmekuwa mkitoa kusaidia kuelimisha wa seminaristi wetu kwa namna ya pekee ningependa kuwashukuru walezi wao ambao tunawaita formators e, kuna mmoja anaitwa Father Gerard na Munga Father Padero ni kuita jina unaweza ukanyosha mkono ukasalimia watu as a formator ndiye huyo Padero Kuna Father Father Siri Johnson pia mekuwa mmoja wa formators Father George Wambua Father George Wambua iko hapo eh, Father George alikuwa hapa kabla kwa hivyo anajulikana sana hapa sasa ni mlezi anasaidia katika kuwalea hawa wana seminaristi wetu pia kuna father mike mcmahon ni mwingine wa walezi wetu iko wapi father mike iko hapo kuna father simon lobon father simon lobon pia ni mlezi pia kuna mkurugenzi wa miito ambao ni patrick mwema patrick mwema ndiye hapo kwa hivyo wale vijana ambao wanaona kwamba wanawito ukitaka kujua zaidi shirika letu unamuona uh, Father Patrick atakuelekeza ili uweze kujua mengi kuhusu, kuhusu shirika letu na washukuru sana. Nashukuru hii parokia wakiongozwa na paroko wao Father Jojo Mondi na uongozi kama Peter Rutere na wengine ambao wametangulia kuongea kwa kukubali na huwa wanakubali sana kutusaidia katika sherehe zetu wamekuwa ni marafiki zetu 
wamekuwa ni watu wema sana very hospitable na wametusaidia kwa namna kubwa sana asanteni sana kwa namna nyingine ya pekee kum, 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 kumshukuru sana baba askofu kwa sababu hii sio mara ya kwanza anayotuongoza katika ordination zetu utakumbuka kwamba kuna wakati tulikuwa huko Tinganga Tinganga kufa, uh, na huko Tinganga na miaka hii hapo awali akiwa askofu wa Machakos akaalikwa na shirika akakubali tukaenda Tinganga kadhonzweni tulikuwa huko tena akaordain mapadri huko wa shirika letu kadheka pia akaordain akaordain eh, padri ni padri lan Leonard Damuki huko na pia St Austin ndio hapa sasa ametusaidia katika kuordain hawa mapadri wanne tunakushukuru sana na nikiongea kuhusu padri eh, Leonard Damuki pia namshukuru kwamba aliwaongoza hawa waki, wakati huo alikuwa mashemasi katika retreat e, kabla hawajapata daraja hii ya upadri walipata retreat kusali na kutafakari kwa hivyo aliwaongoza katika sala hiyo kwa hivyo father Leonard Dambuki kwa wapi asante sana kwa hivyo hawa ambao wamepata daraja hii ya upadri ni wamisionari kama nilivyosema unaweza ukafanya kazi katika nchi hii ama katika nchi nyingine na wanatumwa na mkuu wa shirika dia na watuma wakafanya kazi lakini mkuu wa shirika sasa ananikabidhi mamlaka haya wananiambia sasa kwa niaba yangu mkuu wa shirika huko Roma uwatume sasa ndio maana wakati huu sasa nachukua nafasi hii kuwatangazia mahali wataenda kufanya kazi Wengine watafanya hapa Kenya, wengine watafanya nchi ya nje. Unaweza ukaanzia hapa, baadaye ukaenda nje. Unaweza ukaanzia nje, baadaye ukaja hapa. Tena ukarudi hivyo hivyo. Sisi ni wa missionary. Kwa hivyo wa kwanza ni Father Leonard Mulei Mutua. Nina barua yako hapa kutoka Rome na nitakualika uje uchukue na nikwambie utaenda kufanya kazi wapi kazi ya kuhubiri habari njema Father Leonard Mulei utaenda nchi ya Malawi kufanya kazi ya uendezaji wa injili. Karibu. Amesema yuko tayari kuenda huko. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana Mungu akuongoze katika kazi hiyo njema. Asante. Mwingine ni Wycliff Oluoch Oluze Karibu. Kama mlivyosikia imani hii tuliyoipata ni wa missionary kutoka Ulaya walileta habari njema hapa. Kwa hivyo na wao sasa hivi wametuambia tusaidieni jamani. Tusaidieni tunahitaji wa missionary kwa sababu wameishiwa. Wame hawana wengi, ni wachache. Ukimuuliza Father Mike atawaambia wako wachache wanatuomba sana tuwasaidie na sisi tukasema sisi sio wachoyo tutawasaidieni si ni vema kuwasaidia pia kwa hivyo father wickliff oluoch ataenda province of europe huko belgium belgium amesema yuko tayari kwenda barikiwe sana mwingine ni father timothy tutumotie Unajua hata ukiwa mkarimu lazima pia ujiangalie. Usitoe kila kitu, ukaachwa una chochote. Kwa hivyo Father Timothy tutumotie yeye eh, ametumwa hapa nchi ya Kenya atuhudumie sisi. Amesema yuko tayari sana. Kuna Lawrence Momanyi Maraga. Karibu Father Lawrence. Kwa hivyo naye Father Lawrence pia tukasema hii kitu itakuwa nusu nusu. Nusu nusu nje ni nusu Kenya. 
Kwa hivyo pia Lawrence atakuwa katika nchi hii ya Kenya ametumu afanye kazi nchi ya Kenya. Karibu sana. Pia yeye anasema ako tayari. Asante. Asante sana. Baada ya kuwa commission ama kuwatuma wakafanye kazi ambao wamekubali watafanya e, tunamshukuru Mungu sana na pia na rudia tena kumshukuru baba askofu e, your grace archbishop martin kevuva kwa kutusaidia katika kazi hii kazi hii sio rahisi sisi wenyewe bila askofu wa kutufanyia hii hatutaweza tutabaki tu pale pale lakini askofu ni ipo muomba alikubali na akakubali na najua anatoka mbali. Hata nilikuwa najiuliza kama hii mipaka haikufunguliwa angekujaje? Kwa sababu ni like Bishop of Mombasa na kulikuwa kumefungwa. Lakini Mungu ametusaidia tulipokaribia tukafunguliwa. Kwa hivyo akaweza kuja kutoka Mombasa. Mombasa ni mbali kule. Kama mnavyosikia kwamba mbio za sakafuni zinaishia wapi? Kule Mombasa ndio ukingoni ukifika huko hakuna kuingine kwa hivyo ametoka mbali sana kwa hivyo itabidi pia tumrudishie shukrani na tumpe nauli aweze kurudi kazi asikae hapa aseme eh hey, umekwisha aweze pia kurudi kufanya kazi alikotoka na kwa hivyo eh, kwa heshima kuu na kwa niaba ya shirika letu ya Roho Mtakatifu nataka kukabidhi zawadi hii baba askofu na pia kukualika ili nawe uweze wa hutubia wa Kristo. Karibu sana baba askofu. basi nami yangu ni mawili si matatu kwanza ni kuwapongeza hawa mapadu wetu wapya na actually for the dominic napenda niseme siji kwa sababu tu kwa kuwa umenialika i'm also a member <laughs> yes. baptized by an irish in mudadeni confirmed by a bishop in Mombasa Butler and the rest is history. Kwa hivyo niko ndani ya Irish blood in a way and therefore I want to appreciate all those who came before us. Kama si wao atunge kuepo. And I say that from the bottom of our heart. Wakati ule majimbo Nairobi was first. Mombasa was second. And then later Machakos 1969 where I was born and went back as a bishop in 2003 nilipolipa deni langu nikaenda kulipa la Mombasa kuanzia tu 2015 mpaka sasa miaka sita naelekea kumalizia so napenda nishukuru sana 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 na kuambia jamani hii kazi ni yetu sote thank you so much So kabla siongeza mengi napenda niwape eh unajua naweza kutuma mahali bila driving license. So they have a license for 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 ordination which is a certificate of ordination. Na napenda nisome inasema hivi We by the grace of God and of the Holy See make it known and testify to each and everyone that we have promoted to the Lord our, our God brother in Christ he was a deacon then wale wote sita leo naanzia na deacon lena aliyekuwa deacon lena bulei mutua to the sacred order of priesthood in accordance to the right of the holy catholic church on this day of the 7th may 2021 at St Austin Parish Msongare Nairobi Congratulations <laughs> Na hapo ndani nikaweka map mahali anapoenda sipotee njia
I put a map in there for you to know where you're going. Thank you very much indeed. The next one is none other but Lawrence Magara. Also the same reading with your certificate of ordination. Kwamba umeakuwa ordained. Sante, congratulations. Watatu Timothy, Father Timothy Mutie kwa kazi hiyo hiyo pamoja na ti, na map ya kwenda mahali unapoenda. Asante sana. Congratulations. <laughs> Last but not least Wickley Olunde Oluwach. Tafadhali, Mungu pongezi kwa nyote na asanteni. Thank you and congratulations. Kwa hiyo yangu ni hayo mawili. The second thing I come to these ordinations ni kwa sababu hata mimi I'm also looking for priests. I have now two parishes in Mombasa. In each parish there's at least one, there could be two, there could be three. And we are always trying to create community of the same communities from the same congregations. Therefore, I'm sure next time there are a few other parishes and there are also those who are alone and they need companions. Si vema mtu kukaa peke yake. Kwa hivyo mtawatuma pia Mombasa. Asanteni and last but not least, I like to remind our parents, priests come from families. In the past when we are the uh, the missionaries there was a thinking they are manufactured somewhere in Ireland. But we realized as they went back, because of the challenges of family and no more vocations, something had to happen. We want to appreciate the encouragement for our families to be generous. And we know when we give, we also receive. Weka wega. Weka wega. Ukitenda mema. Wajitendea wewe mwenye. If you do good to others, you actually do it to yourself. So we are also are beneficiaries. So to my priest, my dear priest ordained today, all I can remember to tell you is pick up the words of, uh, of dear uh, Pope Francis who says, smell like the sheep. In other words, uwe na arufu ya kondo nao wachunga. Endelea kuandamana nao katika changamoto zao kwa taabu na raha kwa magonjwa na afya kama wanavyoambiwa watu wa ndoa asanteni na Mungu endelee kuwabariki kabla hujaondoka hatutaondoka bila baraka zenu tunaotea tu pia na huwa naotea baraka mwishoni huwa naotea fresh blessing from the newly ordained asanteni na pongezi nitendo wapigie makofi asante sana I was just saying before they bless us, before I bless you at the end, we'll ask for a blessing from them to the parents and also for all those who are here. For interest sake, can I all religious women kindly stand? Can I religious women in Leopo just to recognize them? They are being part of us, they are part of us. Let's thank them. Makofi Kwao. Thank you for coming. Let's have any brothers who are here, who are seated or standing, kindly wave wherever you are. Brothers, oh, well, brothers on Peter Cliff. To a pigie makofi, jena, sante. And a special request for the Holy Ghost Fathers, both black and white. Kindly stand, we see them, we see, just to see them. Ah, 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 ah. There are quite many. Thank you, thank you. Last but not least, all other priests from wherever, kindly stand. Thank you. Let's clap for them. So, la mwisho wa Santeni wa St. Austin. Keep us in prayer. Let's keep connected. And we all belong to the same Father, the same source. Let's stay praying for each other. Sante sana, mungu wabariki.
so tunaomba baba askofu wa Siketi anaenda kubarikiwa na mapadri wetu wapya eh, pale mbele ni wakati wa kutoa baraka sasa kwa mapadri wetu wapya watatoa baraka kwa baba askofu alafu kwa eh, superior alafu kwa kwa wengine kwa hiyo naomba mapadri wapya mjongea hapa mbele na baba askofu kuna sehemu ya ku, kupiga magoti kifuatiliwa na Father Dominic baadaye watatubariki tubariki mapadri na wote ambao tuko hapa kwa, kwa jumla Mapadri na watawa tusimame kwa tubarikiwe priests and religious Religious wazazi, the parents of our four uh, priests, wazazi, parents, to simame water here. Yeah. Sasa tusimame wote wa Kristu wote tupate baraka ya mapaji wapia.
Asanteni sana mapaji wetu wapya. Tukitoka nje na tukienda nyumbani kuna nafasi ya kupata baraka ya binafsi e, kwa e, kwa kila mmoja wetu kabla e, ya baba maaskofu kutupa baraka ya mwisho na tumaliziwe misa e, na e, napenda niseme tu machache the MC ni, is the only one with the right to say something after the bishop so napenda ku Nadhani uh, Padre Dominic ametushukuru wote ameshukuru watu wengi napenda kuongezea tu um, uh, shukurani chache na nadhani kuna mtu mmoja ambaye uh, napenda kumshukuru kwa namna ya pekee kwa sababu um, ali uh, kuwa uh, uh, very uh, big um, help na pia aliwahudumia hawa mapadri wetu wapya sana kwa muda mrefu kwa miaka sita kama superior na huyu ni fadha mbinda namba fadha mbinda tumpigie makofi alikuwa superior e, mpaka e, ndio mpaka mwaka jana disemba kwa hiyo aliona hawa vijana wakiwa watoto wadogo mpaka hata walipokuwa almost wanamalizia asante e, ndambina kwa hiyo kazi uliyofanya napenda kwa shukuru wanakwaya wetu kwa kazi nzuri mmekuwa always there wanakwaya wa St Austin's eh, kutusaidia tunapokuwa na jambo lolote hapa eh, asandeni tuwapigie sana makofi wanakwaya <laughs> na wana St Austin's wote um, uh, padri na uh, Adam uh, padri Stephen pale E, na hata wa seminaristi tuliokuwa nao tangu jana tukiandaa hii sherehe na committee ambayo tulikuwa pamoja tukiandaa hii sherehe tuwapigie makofi <laughs> Asandeni sana na pia MC wetu wa leo tumpigie makofi <laughs> Asandeni sasa tunaomba baba askofu aweze kutubariki na uh, anapo tubariki ilikuwa nimesahau kwamba kuna nimeambiwa kuna maji ya kunywa kuna maji ya kunywa baada ya hapa tukitoka pale nje kuna tent na hiyo tent ina sehemu mbili kuna right and left right ni uh, baba askofu na mapadri wote na watawa uh, on the right side of the tent we are going directly there so that we can be served kuna sehemu ya kunawa mikono tuhakikisha tumenawa mikono kabla kuingia pale ndani na on the left uh, hand side mkono um, wa uh, kushoto uh, wale wengine wote tutaingia hapo ili tuweze kuhudumiwa niambiwa kwamba ma uh, watu wa kisi wafanye haraka wahudumiwe haraka kwa sababu wanapaswa kuondoka kabla kafiu Ayanza. Tunapo toka kwa procession. Tunamba tupewe na fasi pale ya skofu, mapadri wapia na mapadri wengine na wazazi tupate tu picha moja ya kumbu kumbu. Sandeni sana mungu wa bariki, wanakwaya tupewe tukipewa baraka wanakwaya watatuongoza kwa wimbo wa exit thank you uh, wote ambao wametambulika kama holy ghost fathers i'm sure since this mass was live there are some who worked here and we want to recognize them whatever they are I remember Martin King, some of you know, he was here for a long time, and others, and it's a really great community you are. Keep up the good spirit, and all those who are here, just be, count yourself blessed for this ordination, within this ordination, and I want to say once again, thank you so much for having me. I'll keep smelling when there's a new ordination, I go and get a blessing. We never know what goes, goes on. Kwa hayo machacha santeni na mbarikiwe tuendele kutetea uhai kwa kuwasaidia watu wavae barakua kunawa mikono ukaa umbali 
because we understand this is one of the key ways of protecting one another apart from other ways that have been already mentioned kwa hiyo machache asante sana for dhambinda also i want to recognize we worked very closely and now the other uongozi kama if all leadership changed this way we will have no war in any country but we know it's not always easy when you go to other leaderships so ours is also to continue to pray for this country because as you realize the politicians keep changing things and things are happening we hope and pray that the truth stands the all the people are honesty honest and we also shun all these things we call in corruption and so on it's a pity where we still talk about it we pray about it but we see things happening so no details for today but i want to say whatever you are create a, a what i call a, a corruption free zone around you either receiving or giving and say wow this is our country you better protect it kwa hiyo machache tuwabariki msaada wetu ni katika jina la bwana na bwana awe nami tuinamishe vichwa vyetu kuomba tena baraka ya Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu mwema twaidama tukikushukuru kwa zawadi ya siku ya leo zawadi ya watawa wa kiume mapadi wetu wanne na sote ambao tumeshiriki ibada hii kwa baraka na furaha tunayoyonja endelea kubariki ba familia zetu zilio karibu na zilio mbali endelea kubariki nchi yetu katika amani na ushirikiano unaofaa asante kwa maelekezi mazuri ambayo yanaendelea kujengwa katika mahusiano yetu na majirani yetu wa Somalia Somalia majirani yetu wa Tanzania na popote pale ambapo tunahusiana na wenzetu tuishi na amani bariki tena vijana wetu wanaanza shule wiki ijayo ambapo wanahitaji kumalizia muhula wao wa shule ili wasonge katika ngazi nyingine kujiendeleza kimasomo wakinge na hatari zote za miili za kiroho baraka hizi zitushikie sote na mahitaji ya kila aliyopo na asiyekuepo tukiyapokeza kwako kwa jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu na kukaa nanyi daima na milele Nende ni na mane